the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God, God, Christ our Savior be with you all. Today we celebrate a feast day for the Western Dominican province. It's the feast of the holy name of Jesus, where our province's name is the province of the holy name. So we pray for the province throughout the Western U.S., for our friars in Europe and in Latin America, in the many different parts of the world, that they would be blessed by the Lord's goodness and give glory to God's holy name. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. By my fault, through my fault, through my most greatest fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us all our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Christ eleison, Christ eleison, Kyrie eleison. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, is in our prayers. We're seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. As we venerate the most holy name of Jesus, mercifully grant us, Lord, that savoring its sweetness in this life, we may be filled with everlasting joy in our heavenly homeland. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. <clears throat> Brothers and sisters, if there is any encouragement in Christ, any solace in love, any participation in the Spirit, any compassion and mercy, complete my joy by being of the same mind with the same love, united in heart, thinking one thing. Do nothing out of selfishness or out of vain glory. Rather, humbly regard others as more important than yourselves, each looking out not for his own interests, but also everyone for those of others. Have among yourselves the same attitude that is also yours in Christ Jesus, who, though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God something to be grasped. Rather, he emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, coming in human likeness, and found human in appearance. He humbled himself, becoming obedient to death, even death on the cross. Because of this, God greatly exalted him and bestowed on him the name that is above every name, that every knee should bend of those in heaven and on earth and under the earth. And every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. 
The word of the Lord. O Lord our God, how wonderful is your name in all the earth. Lord our God, how wonderful is your name in all the earth. When I behold your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you set in place, what is man that you should be mindful of him, or the son of man that you should care for him? O Lord our God, how wonderful is your name in all the earth. You have made him little less than the angels and crowned him with glory and honor. You have given him rule over the works of your hands, putting all things under his feet. O Lord our God, how wonderful is your name in all the earth. O Lord, (coughs) all sheep and oxen, yes, and the beasts of the field, the birds of the air, the fishes of the sea, and whatever swims, the paths of the seas. O Lord, our God, how wonderful is your name, our earth. you. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. When eight days were completed for his circumcision, the child was named Jesus, the name given him by the angel before he conceived in the womb. When the days were completed for their purification according to the law of Moses, they took the child to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord just as it was written in the law of the Lord. Every male that opens the womb shall be consecrated to the Lord and to offer the sacrifice of a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons in accordance with the dictate in the law of the Lord, the gospel of the Lord. Flora and Terry are here today and they celebrate their wedding anniversary today. So I'm going to ask the two of you to come up here. This isn't what you bargained on, is it? (laughs) But it's a pleasure for us to celebrate your wedding anniversary. Every year you do it for that. Yeah. (laughs) How many years are you married now? 52. 52, you're just pops at this. <laughs> well, why don't you face one another? Hold hands. Wait till I tell him that he gets to kiss the bride. <laughs> and I'd ask the rest of you to put, uh, raise your right hand in a blessing over them. Floro and Terry, we ask the Lord's blessing upon you and on your marriage. We thank you for the gift you are to this community, and we ask that we might be worthy of that gift. And we ask the Lord to bless your life together with many happy days. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Amen. You may kiss the bride. (laughs) Let's stand and pray. For Floro and Terry, for the Lord's gift of years together with each other and growing in love and care, we pray to the Lord. 
We pray for the Western Dominican province on this, our feast day, for the friars, sisters, cloistered nuns, laity that make up this province. We pray to the Lord. For peace in the world, we pray to the Lord. For the homeless, those who are most vulnerable, those who have, uh, have to battle the, the uh, virus that's going around, for those who have died from that, we pray to the Lord. And for the intentions of your hearts, we pray to the Lord. O oh God, who by the precious body and blood of your only begotten Son have redeemed the whole world, preserve in us the work of your mercy so that ever honoring the mystery of our salvation, we may obtain the fruits of its merit. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Pray, my brothers and my sisters, that our sacrifice will be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice from our hands for the praise and glory of God's name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Be pleased, Almighty Father, to accept our offerings in the name of Jesus, for we are confident that we shall receive whatever we ask in your Son's name, as he himself with such kind kindness promises to us who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For today you have revealed the mystery of our salvation in Christ as a light for the nations. And when he appeared in our mortal nature, you made us new by the glory of his immortal nature. So with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and the powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of all, and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. So is he who comes in the name of the Lord, the Son in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and you make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself 
so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same spirit, graciously make holy these gifts that we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become for us the body and the blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, Jesus took bread, and he gave you thanks and praise. He broke the bread, gave the, gave the blessing, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice and he gave you thanks and praise. He said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son may be filled by his Holy Spirit and become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an everlasting offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her husband, our Holy Father Dominic, our Sister Catherine of Siena, St. Lorenzo Ruiz, and all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope and Jose our Bishop the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world, to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life. Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, to whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Savior gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil and grant us peace in our days. In your mercy, keep us free from all of our fears and our anxieties as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. 
For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and the unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's offer one another the sign of Christ's peace. On you stay. Qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. On you stay, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. On you stay. We told this back at Tamundi, Donna Nobis Pachin. Let's pray together our act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Grant us in your mercy, O Lord, we pray, that in these sacred mysteries we may do worthy homage to the Lord Jesus, for it is your will that his name every knee should bend, and in him all peoples find salvation, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. May the peace and blessing of Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit descend upon you all and remain with you forever. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and serve the holy name of Jesus. Thanks be to God.